moment you leave the hospital, you're never seeing that baby again. It's anymore. a tough subject for many, but for Selena Rowan, it's a topic she wants to bring to light. The loss of a child made it just a little bit easier thanks to the cuddle cot. The cooling unit gives families a chance to bond with their child by slowing down the process after it passes. Rowan says some parents choose to use the cuddle cot for up to two weeks, but it's not always been available in our community. It's not just going to happen in a big city where they already have them. I always figure that even if it gets used once in a year, it's worth it because it's helping another family out here. And so, yeah, when I saw it, it just, my heart attached to it instantly because I knew that that's something that can help that bereavement process with other families. I can't help bring their baby back. That's out of my reach. But if this is something I can do to help them feel love and support and get the care and the time that they want to have with their baby accomplished, then I've done my work. Rowan has come to an agreement with Northern Health to allow the cuddle cot to be used in its hospitals. But because of hospital policy, it's a service she operates. Because it has been purchased outside of the hospital, it can't just be put into the hospital as one of their uh, machines to be used. It has to be kind of on a donation basis. So if somebody has this occur where they are losing a baby, um, anywhere from four to ten months, they can actually call me and say, I want to use the cuddle cot and I can bring it in, have it set up, have it already cool so when they do deliver the baby, they can have the baby beside them. Rowan says it's a tough topic that many don't feel comfortable discussing, but she hopes she can help at least one family a year through word of mouth. The public awareness is huge for me, so I just say talk. I know it's an awkward thing to talk about, lots of people don't want to, but it means the world to people like myself who have dealt with it to know that if the public helps out and just says a little bit and lets it out there, then it's going to help the community in the long run. Kendall Robertson, CJDC TV News, Dawson Creek.